Today on Earth Focus, solutions from Africa. Are Africa's forests an answer to climate change? More efficient cookstoves and kilns protect Malawi's forests by reducing demand for firewood. Jeff Barbie reports, coming up on Earth Focus. Forest destruction is a problem throughout the region, but in a small developing country like Malawi, it is an environmental catastrophe. Malawi is one of the most deforested countries in the world, and the remaining forests and woodlands are being cut down at an alarming rate. Throughout the country, timber cutting by local communities has been reducing former forests to marginal farmland. A year ago, thick Miombo woodland covered this area near Mangochi, but the relentless need for energy from communities and a lack of other viable fuel options has seen it disappear. But there may be some hope. Technology is coming to the Malawian countryside, and it's something to sing about. On a recent Sunday in Manjanja village, a group has gotten together to sing, to gossip, and to make mbaula chiteteza stoves. This is the Mbaula Chitetezo stove. Its name means environmental protection. Though simple, the stove has radically reduced the amount of wood Malawian households need for their energy. In the past, the three stone fire, like this one, was the best technology available. The stove burns cleaner for much longer on less than half the wood, and it's made from locally sourced materials. Linda Chiwaya explains how using this technology has changed life in her village. Yeah. The technology is in the design. The materials and building techniques are local and affordable. The technology we're promoting reduces the need for wood. So instead of using 10 pieces of wood, they can now use four pieces of wood. This is a big cost saving for them, but it also reduces pressure on the forest, so there's less trees being cut down. Tobacco is one of the main cash crops throughout Malawi. The most lucrative tobacco is cured in wood-fired kilns. The technology that Hestian Innovations is promoting reduces wood consumption in these kilns by about 50%. These are called rocket barns, and in two years, they have sold almost a thousand of them. We're at the stage now where we've got about 800, 900 of these barns out there. The farmers are talking about them, they're loving the idea, they want more barns. Demand is very high. We can bring them this cleaner technology that can benefit their lives. By selling stoves and barns through microloans on a massive scale and using carbon financing to help fund part of the costs, Hestian Innovations reduces carbon emissions and makes their money through a long-term monitoring system, which measures how much CO2 is not going into the atmosphere. We don't get a carbon credit for building a barn or for building a stove. We get carbon credits when we can verifiably demonstrate that these technologies are working. So we're not going to build the barn for this farmer and walk away. We have to come back here every year for the next six years, possibly for the next 20 years. And that's something very good. That's after sales service that just doesn't exist. It is a long-term commitment that is rare in Africa, even among aid agencies. And right now, that commitment is coming from carbon trading. Our project would never have got to where it is today without carbon trading and carbon trading gives us 
very ambitious targets to reach, and we can reach them. African forests can be a part of the solution to global warming. Africans and project developers in Africa are eager and prepared to enter the carbon trade and use it to create sustainable forestry projects. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.